All right, let's let's walk up on this ledge. If he draws it towards us and starts shooting, we'll shoot back. Oh, he's shooting at buildings and shit. Hi, uh, you involved with this pink car? Or what you, or are you just here at the yellow deck? Hello everyone, welcome back to DOJ. Today we are getting in here working with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office in the old school Tahoe. Been a minute since we used this car, absolutely love it. Played a little bit with it last night when I was just kind of playing for fun. I was like super tired, but I was like, no recording, just gonna play for fun. Uh, so now we're getting in here, we're gonna do some recording with it because I just loved it so much. So starting out here in Polito Bay, cause this is kind of the spawn point that we picked since it's closest to Blaine County. I'll be working with trails, kind of doing radar enforcement today, just trying to do all the old shit I can with this old ass Tahoe. But we gotta get some gas and all that stuff. We're completely good to go in the system. Got my gun, in case anything happens. Motherfucker. How does that even make any sense? What the fuck, dude? So, I'm so excited, I ripped my door off the hinge. Um, well, since we're here at the station, we might as well fix that, since that was not supposed to happen. I don't know what the fuck happened there. But, uh, we'll just go get some gas, and then we'll be down in Blaine County. Even though technically we're in Blaine County right now, we'll be down in Sandy Shores area. <laughs> that must have been an obnoxious traffic, st traffic stop that was going on back there. There it is. So yeah, we're heading out to the, uh, a little more into the middle of the county right now, I guess you could say. Um, past the traffic stop. Go ahead. Come for him, route. Uh, route one nine seven zero, I think it was. Uh, let me. I think that might have been the people. One King Twenty Four Dispatch, can you reattach me in the cab, please? Uh, it's not showing up the postal. He said... I don't know if it was back there. It said Route 1, so that might be all the way on the other side. We'll see what we got this time. Okay, here we go. 970. Oh, okay. Oh, it was back there. Now, I passed him. Seems legit. Okay. Is that a cop coming up behind us, Code? Come on, buddy. Come on. Go, you mother fudger. Gosh. All right, we got a 71 request on US Route 1, which is the guy we passed, of course, um, which is definitely not going to make things a little easier for us. We got a code 2 response, so that technically means no lights or sirens or anything like that, uh, especially because we got no intersections to clear. Um, but that is a wild-ass little scene that's going on, the one that we passed back there. They were very loud, so let's be ready for this one. Come on, just... Throw yourself into the worst traffic ever. There you go. I like to see that. It might be jank, but at least it doesn't hold traffic off. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. Why are my lights on? And we're gonna go ahead and dip, dodge, dive, and duck through traffic. We're gonna pass this guy. We're probably gonna make his rate. Uh, 10-9. Be advised, unit requesting all units responding to that call code 3. Copy and route code 3. Okay, so we got a code three. Damn, that was a bad accident. Sorry. Okay, so we're going code three. Uh, I was trying to get there as fast as I could, but unfortunately, I don't know if something else is going on. Yeah, it's back here. Come on, people. There we go. Oh, not on my screen. Not today. Not today, motherfucker. All right, we're going to deactivate. 1K2423. Oh, they got the All nice charges. All he did charges. was arrest me, search me, and he, he wouldn't talk to me, right? I have the right to talk to someone. My dad is dying, so of course I'm going to go fast. I know I did something wrong, but he doesn't want to talk to me. I deserve to speak. I have rights. Of course you do. I don't know what's going on here, no, but it seems very emotional. Supervisor now, okay? All right, let's step on the left side of the. Shit. Can we step I'm... on the left side of the car, please? No, it's a good idea. <laughs> there it is. Seems legit. 
Okay, what what is going on here? Right. Okay. Can I can I talk to you? What is going on here? <laughs> All right. Can I can I speak now? As as for the third time, what is going on here? Like well, all right. <laughs> that, I was going really fast. I know that because my father is currently in the city. He's in the hospital and he's dying. I were I were called and they told me you better get here quick, right? So of course I was driving really fast. He stopped me. I tried to explain it and he won't freaking listen. All he did was put cuffs on me, put me in, and he ignored every freaking word I said. Okay, well, you do know, unfortunately, no matter what the circumstances are, you can't break the law, right? Enjoy, alright? I know that, sir, but okay. I, I well, mean, I, as long I as you understand that, I am, well, there's, there is it's no BS. break when it comes to the law, unfortunately. I mean, it's either you break I mean, it or not. You could eat. Couldn't you but drive let's, me to let's the focus hospital on, yourself? Let's focus on where we're at right now, okay? So, unfortunately, you are being detained because of a crime that you committed. Obviously, that might have been... Uh, what, 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 what was it? Deputy. Uh, I'm not quite for sure what he's being detained for. The deputy just told me to just paint him for now, right? Okay. What was his speed that he was clocked? Man, uh, uh, going down Great Ocean Highway past the clock and bell. Okay, what was the speed that he was clocked? 106. 106. Okay, sir, that that right there is a arrestable offense because of the speed. So yeah, the I understand that. Okay, so now I've got to just say the situation that we're at from here, unfortunately, is it's since it's not a non-arrestable offense, there's nothing we could do now that you are under arrest. So being able to take you to the hospital under the pretense of you being arrested doesn't make sense because you are not injured, and if you were what injured, what? No, I want to go to the hospital to see my dad before he dies. I understand that. Then you shouldn't well, you have been speeding. This is pretty self-explanatory. I was speeding. No, I was speeding to get there on time. You can don't you, understand. Can you do me a favor and not yell? Well, because this is this is frustrating. My dad is dying. Do you hey, understand that? My ears are also hurting, so. Yeah, well, my heart is hurting too, man. I guess the world turns, though, right? So at this point, you've got to listen. I've told you now three or yeah, four times. Yeah, because well, I wouldn't have been speeding. I would have made sure I called the right necessary people to see if they could help me out in this situation. Yeah, all right. You're right. You're right. Um, so at this point, like I said, I'm, I'm sorry about your father. And there, unfortunately, because of your actions, there's nothing we can do. It's not like we could just take the cuffs off or else we would have taken the cuffs off for the last 40 people that we arrested. I, I can be arrested. You can take me there, see him, and put me to jail. I'm fine with going to jail. I have friends there. Are you injured at all or anything? No. You're not making it easy for me trying to work with you to go to that hospital. Well, you know, my Are you my injured or anything? Hurts. Okay, so yeah, your leg, leg hurts. hurts. All right, well, unfortunately today you're going to be arrested for your speed, but since you are claiming you have a medical emergency of some sort, I'm going to have one of these deputies take you to the hospital, and uh, since it's going to possibly be at the hospital that your father's at, I don't see why you can't say goodbye, uh, but then after that you'll be going to jail. Okay. Okay. It's a good thing my leg started hurting all the time. A good a thing. Sudden. Okay, so is one of you guys cool with that? I mean, if it was 106, no matter what, we know what yeah. we got here, so. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Okay, all right, sir. I'm gonna go out and place you in the back of the car. If you can just, one of you can hop in. Watch your head when I put you in the back. All right. Whoever's really gonna not. be the uh, deputy to take him, you can just go ahead and start the transport as long as we have his name, and we'll take care of the rest of the scene here. So that way, time is of the essence. Hey, other deputy, all right, sounds good. Come talk to me. Oh, yeah, hold on one second, other deputy. Can you give me his name first? I don't have it because I uh, got him out of the car straight away. Uh, on his license, I'll, sorry, I'll get that, on. Be just, I'll get that before he walks it. into the hospital. Hold on, I got it. Hold on, it's in my pocket. Okay, I think this is going to be the best solution. I can understand the frustration, um, but technically, due to the circumstances, it's, you know, we would have had to done jank shit with other people that we arrested, and it's like, you know what, claim an injury, what, I don't care, we'll take you to the hospital. Place? Say what you got to say to your father, and yeah, I respect that, model. but I yeah, we sorry, can't just you. go above and beyond for an individual yeah, that's being arrested no matter the circumstances um yeah 
Yeah, well. Thank you, and I feel like that. Sure, just, you know, like, next time, like I said, don't speed or anything, because then you're going to go to jail and yeah, you got to deal with this. next time, you know, there's, there, there won't be a next time because my dad only dies once, right? Well, there is other family members, sir. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, let's hope. All right, let's let's chat with this guy. All sir, right. we hear you. We know you're there. Obviously, we are it's dealing with someone. Job. Do you not see that? Well, sorry, I kind of have a medical emergency right now. Okay, well, that guy obviously had a medical emergency, too, because his leg was hurting, so you can wait your fair turn, all right? I know, man, but I took... I took... Two, yeah. I don't, I don't know what that means. Good. Look, basically, took, I'm uh, Right, okay, well, we can get you medical services out here. That's totally fine. Do you need medical? Yeah, I think I might need that. Deputy, go ahead and start it, please. Up right now. Yep. Maybe you will rethink taking kinda... stuff next time, then. Well, it's prescribing me, but I took too much because I wasn't planning on having all this happening. Well, that that is no excuse. Well, I know, but I was going to have a fun night, though, so... That's no excuse to abuse your prescription drugs. Whose vehicle is this? Well, that, that's my buddy's. Your buddy's the one that was taken? Okay. All right. Medical's well, I mean, in route. Hot as you. Okay. Do me a favor. Medical's in route. I just need you to sit tight, relax, and they'll get you looked at here in a second, okay? Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to die, though. I'm kind of getting a little nervous back well, here. Well, I, like I said, I can't make medical go faster than they are. They are in route. So just try so to you, hang on. Can you get on my hand? I, I don't think I can hold your hand right this second. I have to figure yeah. out what's going on with the rest of this scene that's going on here because you guys decided yeah. to speed through the st yeah. streets on drugs and stuff, so... Well, I, well it doesn't affect anything. Well, I mean, it kind of does low-key, but I'm just kind of starting to swear a little bit. Getting a little scared. Well, so. I hope next time you I'm are in the person. situation where you don't take these drugs to the extent that you did, well, right? Well, here... Well, here's the well, yeah, but the problem is, normally there's no issue if I get home on time, but obviously this is making I'm no sense. Back here, so there's a bit of an issue going on right now. And yeah, we're trying to figure out exactly what we're gonna do with you. I at this point don't see anything wrong with anything right now to charge you with, but just let me figure the situation out. All right. Well, yeah, man. I I have the cleanest record you've ever seen. I'm I'm a good person, man. I made a few mistakes here and there, maybe, you know. But I'm All right, we go. Yeah, you know, county in route. The county. Okay, just let me talk with you really quick. All right. Anything with this guy or what's going on with the the passenger? Is he 10:15 no, like or just sitting? No, he's just detained. Uh, I thought because there's two of them. Uh, I, I didn't know. Um, what's gonna happen when I when I was by myself? So I detained this guy. The other guy's been arrested. Uh, he comes back all good. He's been compliant and all that stuff. I, I, I'm so let him off uh, with the warning. Uh, if he wants to take his buddy's car there or whatever. Unfortunately, he can't uh, do that. He admitted to excessive uh, use yeah. of his prescription pills. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, that's technically not illegal to overtake the amount of prescriptions that are assigned to you. Um, so there's nothing we could do on that. But we can't let him drive. We have to have him, like, picked up. Or we could drop him off over there at the gas station or something. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, he's all good. Uh, 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 if, if you're happy enough, or, I feel like letting him off. Well, what we could do, how about we do a transport? Since he's claiming medical and it's county, and I don't really like the whole county thing, how about we? How about you just transport yeah. him down to the hospital? Hospital, yeah, pillbox or no, Sandy Shores, actually. You go Sandy Shores since he's having actual, he needs a stomach pumped. I'll go ahead and 51 the car. Yeah. All right, sweet. Awesome. I appreciate it. All right, thanks, mate. Absolutely. Uh, mate, I'm, I'm yeah, going mean, to take you help. down to the station. <laughs> I need I'm, help. I might die. Yeah. I might die. Okay, please, hurry. <laughs> that was an interesting call. Very interesting. Let's let him know. Oh. 3547, go ahead. I need to 51 this car. 104347, transporting one subject to medical center. See, we actually have two. Oh, I don't think so. One King 24, dispatch. Go ahead. Uh, at this call, I need a, a tow truck to my location. Set 4, 
Okay, so County Toe's coming out. We'll just delete the vehicle. That was a good call. We are 10-8. So let's go ahead and see what else we can get into. Go ahead. Be Location going to be Route 68, Route 68, route, route 68 nine, seven, Oh 30. shit, hold on. I really hope it actually added me, so that way I Okay, 67168. 67168. Damn, that's in there. Right there. Let's get back in traffic. No one's gonna let me in. Thank you all. I'm just gonna take the fucking emergency lane. That's what we're gonna do. So yeah, we're, right now we got a, a backup request. Not a 71 request, which is a supervisor. We're just going for a regular backup right now. Fuck me sideways. Why did I do that? I, that looked super jank. <laughs> that was super jank. It looked like I was gonna turn and then I went straight. Almost killed my view. Oh shit. So yeah, uh, backup request and it's gonna be at the end of 68. Unknown exactly what's going on. Oh my god, I'm going fast. Let's slow it down a little. This how, how could this thing go that fast? It is dirtier than a sack of potatoes, too. Holy shit. And I guess that does make sense, because at some point, a sack of potatoes would be pretty dirty before you clean them all. Fun fact, I guess. I don't know. Fucking shit. Oh, I heard a siren, but I think that was through someone's headset. It kind of scared me a little right there. I've got a pink Taurus leaving the Oh. Be advised. They were chasing the vehicle. Um, Pink Taurus. If anyone in that area, they can put him over. I'm gonna probably come across him right now. He's probably gonna be going through Harmony. Hopefully we pass by this Taurus. If not, someone else should pick him up, leaving the Route 68. I gotta get around these trucks. Fuck, it is a code too, but at this point, these these trucks won't move for the fucking life of anyone. Two twenty four seven five, go ahead. I'm gonna be ten eight, ten ninety seven two five. Ten four two. I got no eyes on a Taurus leaving the scene down here. Union twenty. Union two zero, go ahead. Uh, show Come on, last dude. Call code four ticket. Uh, sorry, warning issued. Okay, we're right down the street from uh, this other call that we're going to. Okay, you need to move, you mother trucker. Is that a cop just pulled in the middle of the road? Yeah. Okay. One King 24, 23. Tempted murder, holy shit. So, uh, all right, bear with me. So we've got butter up that vehicle, like I said. Uh, hopefully they should be able to find them. Um, all right, so just bear with me, okay? Is the uh, attempted murder on the other guy that took off, or is it this guy? So basically, there's a, a pink Taurus uh, chasing this vehicle. Um, I saw him on Harmony. Uh, he was trying to lose them, and the Taurus took off. And I approached his vehicle and he said to me that we're trying to chase him and try to uh, kill him, saying something about killing him. Okay, what way did he take off? Okay. Uh, northbound went to the, uh, towards the yellow jack. Northbound to the yellow, so he went down the way I came up, right? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see him at all coming down 68 there, so. Okay. He probably ducked off one of the side roads or something, because I came down 68 all the way from the freeway, didn't see a pink car at all. I know there's a bailer up that vehicle, I've got no plate on it. Um, this guy's free to go, he's all, he's all good. Okay, so we're just gonna keep an eye out for that. This should be, we should pick it up in a second, unless he ditched it, if it's a pink car. And you're, you mean fully pink, right? Oh yeah, full pink. Uh, okay. Full Taurus. Yeah, we'll be able to pick that out in a second, so. Yeah, no worries. Okay, alright, well I'm glad everyone's okay. Nice, sir, I appreciate it. Absolutely, have a good one. Okay, so right, everything's so good here. Not really again. sure what happened. It looked like a road rage incident between the Taurus and this vehicle and the black car, or the gray car, black car. Uh, I believe the suspect took off and turned and turned in one of these little cutty alleyways because we had multiple officers coming down 68. I was coming down the opposite way on 68. And, um... And there was nothing. I didn't see anything, so he must have turned off. So we're going to let him know, 10-8. I'm gonna let him know I'm uh, 
Code 6 in the area of 68, so that way they know I'm investigating. Yeah, I think he ditched his car, and I want to say he either turned here... He, he wouldn't have gone there. That's, that's sketchy. Come on, King 24 Dispatch. I'm Code 6 in the area of six, uh, Route 68, investigating. Oh. That was sketch. What are you doing? <laughs> that guy jumped off. It wasn't pink, it was red, but still, I was like, oh, we might have. Nope, that's not him. So basically, what we're doing is I'm going off into the areas that someone would go if they were to commit a crime, which if it was attempted murder, then that's definitely a pretty heinous crime. So the guy's going to do some crazy shit to get away, ditch the vehicle or anything of that nature, and if I were to be in that situation, I would try to go up one of these roads and ditch my car in someone's house or something, or behind a building, maybe in the forest, maybe swap it out with another car that's on the ground, who really knows, but it's best to uh, check it out, just to be sure. I'm gonna go up the uh, hill here where that house is. No one ever comes up here to check out, so one of these times it's going to be worth it, because I know someone's going to come up here and ditch their shit, and I'm going to be on top of it like a motherfucker. That's where I used to ditch my car all the time, behind that house. Copy, sir. Okay, so nothing over here. Looks like we're going to go... I'm going to go to the other adjacent trail that's by the airport over there, the Sandy Airport, and uh, we'll see if there's anything... Oh, my fuck. Uh, we're gonna see if there's anything over there that will be a little better for us. I almost just tipped this fucking Tahoe. I didn't even think that that was possible. Could have went to the red light racetrack. I'm gonna just pop over this hill just to check. Let's be diligent instead of... I mean, we're already in a fucking car. We might as well not be lazy. That's a fence, you idiot. That's a fence. Oh, what a dumbass. What a dumbass. Just running against a fence the whole time. So it looks like we're gonna be clear here as well, too. I want to just make sure I can see if there's no ditched vehicle uh, along the areas, and I'll be satisfied if there isn't. That is for sure. So let's keep it live just in case we do come across someone, because this is uh, investigating. We got nothing else going on right now. I really hope we find these guys, though. Let's go back out on 68 here. And again, we're going to try that other trail that's by the airport there, the Sandy Shores Airport. There has to be someone, dude. You couldn't- he didn't go down that way. He did not go down that way. Ten fifty hit and run. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this trail. This one's a little bigger than the other one. Uh, I would say the other one's a little smaller. I would definitely hit a left, though, if I was in a ditch of car, because this kind of leads up into the hill over everything. Which is, again, another area that no one would really go. And it's a pink fucking Taurus, too. How do you get in some shit in a pink Taurus and then just disappear? That doesn't make any sense to me at all. I'm not seeing a damn thing, dude. And I'm hardcore, like, searching right now. We can go down the other side of the, uh... Airport here, just to be diligent. And then we can even see across from 30. there uh, to see the other side of that trail on the other side of the airport. It's a pink car, so I, I mean, we still have a little bit of daylight left, even though it's very minimal. But it should help us kind of pinpoint this guy out if he's out here. I'm not seeing any exterior movement. I don't think he would go on the left side of the airport if someone were to go out that way. Never notice that street sign or street pole that's like hanging off to the left there. Yeah, that guy was able to do the right amount of stuff to be able to pretty much disappear. I really don't know where he went, especially if we were coming down 68 there. Um, that, that guy did a phenomenal job disappearing, especially if you were driving a motherfucking pink Taurus. That just makes no sense to me. I was hoping someone's gonna, someone was going to be able to find him, but we did a good perimeter search. I'm going to call myself 10-8. I don't think there's any more. Negative. What is that? Okay. Let's 10-8 since we're done searching. 
I still don't see any sign of the individual, so we're gonna go back to kind of just regular patrol where we're looking around, seeing what's going on. Obviously, we'll keep that boloed subject in our minds so if we come across that vehicle. Oh, it's right there. That's that's the individual. Uh, you at the yellow truck, sir. Simple. Uh, my, I'm the charger. I code zero. Can you uh, please get a 51 out for that? I've and got. I've got nothing. Uh, I've that's got him. Okay, we got him. Good. 3795. I've got nothing on. I've got nothing. I've got nothing on her at all. Uh, he's saying one thing. It's his word against his. his, his, his I'm gonna his have him attach me to the call, Yellow Jack, since I was associated with it earlier. I'm gonna turn on my lights because. We'll just block this whole. I'm gonna investigate this murder thing and. Uh... Again, it's attempted murder, so we're gonna have this place locked down. One King Twenty Four, can you attach me to the call and uh, yell eject, please? Ten four, seven. Yeah, because uh, because I'm confused with the whole thing of he killed a baby. And uh, I know the guy's got Go. record for murder, attempted murder, and evasion. Uh, yep. It's quite so weird. Yep. Yep. Sure, I can do that. Because if I check my record, there was... Shitty. Okay. I don't know where that's at. Oh, I think we're here. Monkey uh, 24, I'm on scene at Yellowjack 23. Okay, so this is a subject we were looking for earlier. I'll see if she wants to make I'm gonna go ahead and look around at the vehicle, yeah, see if there's anything over there. Get a statement on her and on what's going on. At least we can put two and two together, and we can. I'm gonna turn down my voice options to. Three. Hey. You want to roll down? Hello? 3825, go ahead. There we go. Uh, hi. Hi, uh, you involved with this pink car? Or, what you, or are you just here at the Yellow Jack? I, that's one of my friends. That's your friend, okay. Where'd you guys come from? Yeah. We were just driving around. We were here earlier, but... Okay, did your friend have any incident with another party or anything like that when you guys were driving? No, sir. When he showed up here earlier, he left. When we clear up Who's he? Uh, the guy in the bla all black car. Clear, and I guess he's really bad. He tried to he tried killing her multiple times. What do you and mean? Morris, Why? What do you mean killing her? How did he? How did he attempt to kill her? He's tried shooting her multiple times. Okay, um... And, uh... Is there... Did, did you guys get hit by bullets? Or is there any in your car? Or anything to no, not, back not this today. up? No, this is... This is a couple weeks ago. Okay, so I'm talking about today. Is Did anything happen today? No, sir. Okay, so there was no altercation on the road or anything like that? No, no weapons were drawn, no weapons were shot, no weapons were used. No, sir, I don't even have my weapon on me today. Okay. And, uh, your friend didn't shoot or hit anyone with the vehicle? 10 4 5 2 27 be advised, you're calling tonight at the CHP. No, sir. Okay. Alright, well, just sit tight here. I'm gonna have, uh... I'm gonna have someone take your statement here in a second on what's going on. I'm just going to kind of take a peek around the cars, okay? So if you could just turn your car off so that way you don't accidentally go in reverse, that'd be fantastic. Unless it's already off. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look and see if we got anything going on. Any uh, vehicle damage. It looks like the vehicle's relatively clean. I don't see where this incident of road rage might have taken place, but this is definitely the pink car that we're looking for. Both of the vehicles look uh, pretty decent when it comes to structural integrity and stuff like that. No scratches, just maybe a little bit of dirt. The Taurus is extremely clean. So let's uh, see what we got going on over here. Yes, I'll take down the 
Dodge Charger okay. with you a front okay. rifle. Okay, thank you. Whoever I yelled at, I apologize. 10 four. Yeah. Uh, Ocean one dispatch. Uh, yeah. So, okay, pass that on. What's, what's going on over here? We're not in a pink charger. I'll take that. Oh, okay. So basically, um, she's going to make a uh, statement under oath regarding the gentleman that I pulled over. Uh, apparently, he shot at her multiple times, killed her baby. Okay, that was that was weeks ago, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but there's no warrant for anything okay. for him, so I'm going to get a... Uh, Written statement under I for her, and then we can sort something out. So, with her, so, she's in, she's in, she's in, so there's no, the ma'am. There's nothing that happened today. And no, ve no vehicle collisions, no shootings of weapons or anything like that from your side. Absolutely not. No. Okay. Uh, HP guy in the black suit. The person over there next to the pink Taurus was a witness to this whole thing. So you might want to grab her and take her down there as well too, and get her statement. Perfect. Thank you. Appreciate it. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm good here. Sorry that happened. And uh, I guess we're going to keep our eyes open for the other guy then. The Boris Smirnov character is very dangerous. Just so you know, he's very hostile. So just be careful. Okay. Will do. I appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good day, guys. Thank you, you as well. All right. You all have a good one. All right. You too. Okay, so everything seems to be squared away here. Uh, looks like it was a misunderstanding of some sort. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, I have a takedown light on there. That's fucking sick. I had no idea. <laughs> That's cool. Let's go ahead and turn on our lights. So I'm going to explain what exactly happened. A little confusing. Uh, so basically, we had an incident earlier where it looked like a road rage incident. The parties got pulled over. One got... One went, one ran and took off. The other one got pulled over. The one that got pulled over gave a ba uh, bad story on what happened. We then acted on the story. We then heard about what was going on. We were able to check damage on vehicles and kind of correlate that there was no accident that actually happened with said vehicle and that there was most likely a false police report filed, uh, which in return is going to give us the, you know, power to go ahead and put out a arrest warrant for that other individual that we... Uh, came in contact with back in front of the 24-7 who I went out and searched my fucking heart and soul for that pink car thinking that there was some type of serious shit going on. Uh, so, yeah. In the end, I guess that worked out a little better. Um, that wasn't bad at all. That was some in-depth uh, roleplay right there. Nice layers on it. You think you're gonna get someone, then all of a sudden you have... 77. Where the fuck was it? 77? It was either front or back. Fuck, you gotta be kidding me, dude. I, I don't know where it was. Yeah, what, what can I do for you? Hey, sir. Um, I was just wondering my, uh, whereabouts is a safe place to shoot my revolver. It's a stupid question, but I just wanna kinda shoot my revolver to, um... It's, it's kinda new, you know. Uh, if you're gonna shoot your gun, I would go all the way out to the forest out there, all the way out maybe near the Mount Chiliad. Uh, yeah, I'll, um, I'll do that now then. If I get lost because I'm not from around here, I'm from the city ways, um, I'll just call you guys if that's alright. If you get lost and you have reception, just call 911 and we'll be glad to help you. Alright, buddy, I really appreciate them. Alright, have a, have a good one. You too, buddy. Okay, so, a little bit of a guy needing a little bit of assistance. I had a guy going 77 miles per hour, um, but I don't I don't know where he went. So we're just going to kind of hang out here for a second. It could have been this guy coming up on my rear super fast, or maybe it was that guy. It was someone. Act of fucking jank. Okay, this guy came around the... I don't like what he's doing. We're going to go talk with him. Hey buddy, roll down the window. Do me a favor. Yeah, up, if you're gonna drive on the road, at least have your lights on. You were on a blind corner right there and you're driving down the road with your lights off. 
Go ahead, find Delta. Oh, alright. Just, bad, man. I mean, if you're on an all black car too, it's like it would be dumbass hard to see you, so just keep the lights on if you're gonna be on the roadway for safety. I mean, that's kind of what I'm trying to pull off, but uh, yeah. What are you creeping up on someone? All what right, are you doing? I'll take your advice. I guess you could say that, but what? I, won't, I won't go into any detail. Are you in stalker mode? Do I need to um, see if everyone's okay? Like, what's going on? What do you guys work for? You guys work for someone, or? Uh, we're the McCreary's. What does that mean? Family business. Family business, okay. You guys working right now, or what's what are you guys doing? Yeah, we're working. Just working. What do you guys do exactly for your work? I uh, prefer not to say. Prefer not to say. All right, well, just keep the lights on. That way, no one, uh, no one gets hurt when you when they come around the corner. All right. Yep, sounds good. All right, guys, keep it safe. Will do. What's up? Not much. Just saw you pull over here. Wasn't sure if you needed help or anything. Yeah, when it was nighttime, like three seconds ago, before it just magically turned to daytime super quick. But he came over the hill with his lights off, and then stopped there for a second, and then pulled over with his lights still off. And it's like, you know, if you're gonna be on the roadway, just keep your lights on. Don't that's, don't turn them off. That's fishy as fuck. Yeah, and then he was like, yeah, we're out here just before, watching someone. I was like, what do you mean watching someone? And like, you guys stalking someone? He's like, well, I don't want to go too much into detail. <laughs> it's like, okay. Now we had uh, some things with them yesterday. They were like racking racketeering, you know, like, getting companies to pay protection or whatever. They beat up a kid the other day. We sent him away, but I guess they Seems like out, shit. So. Oh, well, that's Great good. Great assholes right there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw him from a pretty good distance away, but all right. I'll let you guys have it. All right. Cool, cool. Have a good one. You too. Okay, so everything's good here. Uh, just being sketchy as fuck when it comes to... Everything to do with life, those guys were just sketchy as hell. Um, definitely up to no good trying to stalk someone, but I guess there's not much you can do when it, uh, when, when there's no crimes that are being broken, right? So we're gonna go find a new area. They got two Sandy Shores units out, so we don't want to go ahead and disturb them if possible. And go ahead and just bounce out of here, give them an area to work. And we'll be 10 8 from that little, uh, little stop and talk. Okay, I heard automatic gunfire. I don't know if anyone else heard it. No one else has called out shots fired. I'll make sure my weapon's loaded. I don't know what the fuck that was or where that was. Maybe that's where it was from. I don't know what's going on. I want to stay in the area in case something happens. I, I heard automatic gunfire. It's probably too long between when I heard it and I actually started talking, so it'll probably be difficult for me to actually add it in without it sounding weird, but I did hear gunshots. What the fuck, dude? And I know I wasn't someone in the mountain up there. It sounded pretty far away. Go ahead. In route. Okay, so look, look at this guy running. I wonder why. What the fuck, dude? It's gonna be 706. Where the fuck is it? 706. Why is- why are people's- I don't know where this fucking suspicious vehicle is at. It's seven nine. Oh shit. Seven nine five. Where the fuck is that? Oh, that's back at fucking the Yellow Jack. I'm gonna go ahead and make my way out of here and and oh my god, there's so many Sandy Shores PD units. Jesus Christ, it's the smallest place ever. Alright, we gotta get through some of this traffic here. This is the longest line of fucking traffic I've ever seen. Come on, people. What is this shit? What is this fucking convoy of shit? I got re added? Like, 
unit on scene at police cruiser. Could one of you come over here with me in the subject? I don't know what's going on right now, but I got added to another call. I don't know if it's the same call, but this shit's taking way too fucking long to get there. Shit. Shit, shit. All right, we're gonna just have to get through traffic. I don't, I don't want it to take hella long. We were just here doing a call. I don't. What the fuck? God damn it. One King Twenty Four dispatch. My CAD was showing old postal. Can you update it with the new or a new call? Shit. I don't know where it's at. 732. 732. 732. Oh, motherfucker. It was at the fucking motel. Shit, I'm late. I went the complete opposite direction. We even passed by that shit. All because I went to the wrong call on the cat. Son of a bitch. Come on, come on. I don't see anyone. Oh, fuck. It's a suspicious person. Caller reporting suspicious teenagers take photos at the Benda Motel, blue jeans, jacket. Okay, maybe it's not a critical call. Maybe I thought it was responding to a backup call. What the fuck? Let's see if we can at oh. See if we can attempt to locate. Why do we gotta run everything over? All right, we're gonna park the car here. See if we go out and look. See, I thought it was a gun call. That's why I had my gun out. I was ready. I don't know. Um, it said at the abandoned motel taking photos. Unfortunately, this is a private area. Or private property, so you can't be in here, especially since it's... Okay, I got eyes. Linking 24 dispatch, I'm code 6, that was 1. Okay, let's go chalk with him. He's obviously taking photos of, like, a pool or some shit. I don't really know what that would be. I've got to clear out all these fucking homeless people, too, if that's the case. Hey, buddy, I need you to get out of the pool. Oh, I don't think he can fucking hear me. What? Hey, buddy, I need you to get out of the pool. Yeah, unfortunately, this is private property, so I'm going to have to ask you to just uh, leave the property here. I have a call of someone being shot at, um, so if we could just go ahead and scurry uh -huh. off and you could find a new place to take photos. Oh yeah, no, no problem, I just want to the graffiti, no problem. No, yeah, that's, I understand, uh, but unfortunately, safety hazard, there's a uh, lot of people that shouldn't be drive. here, and we want to make sure everyone stays safe. Oh yeah, no, no worries, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, understandable. You got a bike or something, or did you just walk project. in? Nah, I parked around the corner. Okay. All right, well, yeah, just make sure you stay out of areas that are private property so that way you don't get in trouble. Uh, yeah, I was just totally uh, trying to get in road. early morning, you know. Good photos. Yeah, I think if you go down to Los Santos, they have a lot of graffiti walls down there that I think that could help with your project. Yeah, but they've been done time and time again. I want to do something different, like up here in Sandy Shores, so... Definitely. Um, no, I'll stay out of the way. No worries. Yeah, try to look into film permits and maybe they'll allow you to film here or get photos. Yeah, I'm a little expensive. I'm a student on a budget, you know what I'm saying? Alright, man. We'll just stay safe and uh, stay out of trouble, alright? Look at Tahoe, by the way. Thank you. We'll see you later. Alright, so everything's good here. We got shots fired on an officer. Let me go. I'm gonna go back to the station and fix the bumper really quick, get a new car.
Because that shit is no bueno. We got him stopped at a house just on Cotsway. I don't know where the hell that is. That has to be in Sandy. That's some fucking Sandy Shores. Dude, that's not even funny. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Oh, he's on a foot pursuit. He's complaining about a shooter right now. Postal. I don't know what the hell that 1070 is. I don't know where it came from. Oh, that's not in Sandy here. All the Sandy ones are sevens. One King 24, 10, 11. Go ahead, one King 24. 793 Smoke Tree Road on a two color pink black uh, four door, I'm sorry, correction, two door vehicle. Uh, no, 32. 10 4, 1 King 24, 10 11, but a pink and black two door vehicle. No additional 10 3 is needed at this time. Okay, so this guy was driving like a fool. I don't know what they were doing. Um, they don't know where they're going, and we're just going to make sure everything's good with them. They were speeding a little. I didn't catch their speed, but definitely was going a little too fast for dirt roads. I just want to make sure they're okay. How y'all doing today? Oh, hey, cutie. Hi. Hi. So... I was uh, about on the back road, or that dirt road back there, and uh, he went by me a little fast that was not paying too much attention. Then it seems like you really don't know where you're going, uh, and then you were trailing that person way too close there uh, as we were coming down Smoke Tree. So I'm pulling you over today because you were following too close to the vehicle in front of you, but I saw a lot more other things that piqued my interest. Is there something going on? Like... I'm just lost. I'm usually in the city. So, okay. Can I get your license, registration, insurance, and where are you trying to go today? Uh, just driving around. I was lost in the back road. Okay, yeah, you were up by, uh, that music festival place up there. Yeah. But my name's Madison Clemson. Here you go, cutie. Would you look at my phone number, too? No. Really cute. What's your last name again? Clemson. Ah, fantastic. All right, Madison, go ahead and sit tight for me, and we will be right back with you, okay? Yay. Okay, so... He's totally into you. <laughs> seems legit. You're fucking oh, killing me. Uh, oh, there's donuts the on the game. ground. Yep, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> I will shoot that whole car. I will mag dump the fuck out of it. <laughs> like, <see? laughs> Oh, shit. Madison... She said something different than Clemson. I'll tell you that shit. That, that's why I said seems legit. Oh, fuck. We got a suspended license status. Okay, well. I don't know how these guys do that. Like, all that work and all of that. Okay, let's see. What is it? ITSM. 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 Seems legit. ITSM. It's Megan. Who is this? To Megan Myers. Fuck. Out of here. What? That can't be it. Is that it? No. Yeah, it's... it's. Oh, it's Maddie, too. It's Maddie, too. There it is. Madison, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and give him a... I'm not going to do a citation today, but we are going to do a written warning for following too close. Looks like they're just... Nope. Madison. Plate is going to be... It's... Maddie. Two. Location is going to be Smoke Tree Road. And then Fraction is going to be following... Too close. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get him out of here then. That was nice and fast. I copy zero five out here. Okay, um, a few things here. So here's my uh, book I'm gonna hand you at the top is your license, registration, insurance, and all that stuff. So after you sign that written warning, which is just basically saying that I gave you a warning for. Following too close to the vehicle in front of you, you can take your license back and then you're good to go. Basically, just uh, put some distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. 
have any hobbies? I, I have a lot of hobbies, but none of which I want to discuss right this second. <laughs> oh, what, can I be your hobby? I don't think that'll work, but as I said, thank you for that. There, so there's your copy saying that uh, we spoke today. Uh, if anyone else pulls you over for the same infraction, I'm sure it won't be a, um, a written warning. So take it as your one break, all right? Oh, fantastic. Okay. All right, ladies, you guys have a good good day, all right? I would stick on the paved roads. I would stick on the paved roads. That way, uh, you know where you're going at least. You didn't answer my question. Yeah, well, I'm on the job, so I don't think that's an appropriate question to answer. And I don't have a problem with paying your salary, so don't worry. Well, that that's is a fine. Really important question, because she really likes you. Well, at this point, like I said, it's not a correlation of what I'm trying to do out here, which is enforce the law. So I think she could take her desire and prospire, right? Well, what's your name? First name? Phil. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. Absolutely. All right, ladies. You have a good one. <laughs> Seems legit. Back to the loo. <laughs> Go ahead. And I love watching him walk away in the rearview mirror. 10-8. Available. He must ride horses. Oh, he must ride horses. God fucking damn it. I like how they actually- I didn't even say wait for me to turn off my lights and they- Oh shit, we're after one after another. Go ahead. New call assignment. 955. Five. 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 955, your shot one. It's gonna be shots fired heard in the area. And uh, description is going to be black and white suit. Subject's going to be 1060, unknown firearm. It's going to be a black and white vehicle. Again, last seen in the area, 955, Route 1. If I can have you out, Code 3. Copy on Route Code 3. Uh, that's the guy I might have told to go out there and do that stuff. Where the hell is this place? I see, oh, the, the lumber yard? Oh, Lord. Uh, be advised, I believe that's going to be in the same area. Okay, so we got a code three right now for I think the guy that I told to go out into the forest and shoot Then again, I would assume it's legal to hunt out there under some extent. That's why I told him to go out there It wants me to go that way fuck. I don't know if I want to do that Let's go I guess fuck it We're gonna just stick to what the GPS has to say cuz I guess it's right. I don't know who knows? I, I try not to lean too much on GPS, but at some points we have to. Yep, pull over anytime. So it's shots fired, but I think it might be a hunting incident. But if we're going out code three, then that's just what it is. We got our takedown light on on the right, which I actually love. I switched it over from the left to the right so that way we could actually. Uh... Oh, really? It wants me to take this shit? Oh, fuck. This is gonna take so much longer, I feel like, dude. It wants me to go through the mountains and shit. Oh, we are out here whipping it. Okay, we're, we're good. Let's go ahead and switch up that tire, ti tire in there to Siren's tone. I smash words together a lot. We should be good on these smaller little bits of traffic. I really hope I don't. Oh my god, as I say that, I almost eat shit and die. Holy shit, we're gonna keep it up. Those are the worst things to hit, obviously. Why did it take me this way? What a shit show. What a shit show. I don't understand. Okay, so we're in the area. We have people running. I hear the shots. Trying to figure out where exactly it's coming from. Damn. Where is that going out from, dude? Oh, I see it. 1 King 24, I'm 23. There's multiple shots fired in the area of the lumber yard. Uh, 10 you can roll out one more. I'm code six and attempting to figure out what's going on. I see a lot of bikers, but We'll see if we can see where he shoot. Oh, I see him 
Good. What is he shooting at? Okay, I got eyes on him. We're gonna go down. Shit. Yeah, this is the guy. I'm gonna just try to see where he's at really quick. Oh, I got him. Can you show me in an active 10 12 with two Lincoln? Okay, I think he's good. I'll have Cat come get an assignment. I told this guy to go up by Mount Chiliad to shoot his weapon that he just got, but now he's inside the lumber yard shooting everything. I don't know if he's shooting people, but I think this is definitely an issue. Alright, yeah, I'm trying to see if he's going to get in his car and drive towards us, but then again, he's actively shooting in an area where there's people. I don't know what he's doing. What is he shooting at? Yeah, I think he's just shooting randomly. Oh fuck. Um. All right, let's let's walk up on this ledge. If he draws it towards us and starts shooting, we'll shoot back. Oh, he's shooting at buildings and shit. Yeah. Hey, drop your weapon. Drop your fucking weapon. No, hold on, hold on. I shot him in the leg. Drop your weapon. Drop your weapon. Drop it. Ah, you fucking shot me. Yeah, because you fucking pointed ah, a fucking gun at me. Who the fuck points a gun at a cop? I wasn't pointing at you, bastard. You pointed it just- you pointed it right at me. Get on the ground and- I'm, You better- You have five seconds to get on the ground or I'm gonna shoot you more. You fucking shot me. 1 King 24, there's uh, a shot fired at the uh, lumber yard from officers. We have in uh, party shot if we get medical stage. All right, we're gonna have move up and arrest, uh, put handcuffs on you. Can someone move up, please? Yeah, I got you. His mic's all fucked up. It reverbs my voice back. I hate that shit. I shot him right when he pointed it at me, so. He was shooting at everything in here, dude. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. There's multiple situations where you are definitely gonna get shot. <laughs> Fucking shit. He pointed it right at me, though. I'll replay that shit, dude. He pointed it right at me. There we go. All right, sit tight. Don't move. Grab that gun off of him if we can. Five out to thirty-four. Good. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say. Clear. Uh, One King Twenty-Four, the unit that just arrived. Can you move your vehicle down here? We've got to get him inside a car and get him to the medical station. If there's no fifty-one in route. I'm sorry, 52 in a row. All right, sir, hang in there. We're going to get you medical attention, but it, what you were doing here is definitely not... I don't even know why you wouldn't comprehend why you wouldn't get shot once, especially if you pointed a gun at me, and you were shooting wildly inside of a frickin' place where people are working. Oh, I own this place. You own this place. Yep. I run the drug. Okay, well, whether or not, you still can't point a gun at a cop, so... That's why I shot at your leg. No, it. I know it. It wasn't meant to be in that use, but okay. Stand up, sir. We're gonna get you in the car, and we're gonna bandage your leg up on a more elevated surface, so we're not working on the ground. Okay. God, I can't stand that shit. It's so obnoxious. Some hollow points. Some. Yep. Some hollow points. Some blanks. Okay. 
Oh, that hit like a motherfucker. Wait, if you got a med bag in the back of your trunk by chance. Okay, so yeah, we yeah. popped him in the leg on that one. Um, <laughs> oh shit, that was just one clean shot too. Oh, we were right on him, dude. That was no reticle either. We were just like, pop. That was some GTA LSPDFR shit right there. Thankfully, we played that game enough to actually know where the reticule is, even though it's not there. Uh, but that was pretty sick. That was one, like, that sounded great out here. That one pop of the gun, holy shit. Perfect, thanks. So what, uh, what happened? He was just, what, shooting his weapon off and pointed it at you guys? Uh, he was shooting wildly around just pretty much everywhere. As I was coming through Mount Chiliad, I had people running towards me away from this area. Uh, as I got here, he was just turning around, shooting. I saw him shoot at the uh, thing up there, and I saw the ricochets. And then as we were creeping down this bridge, we had our guns drawn, and he pointed it directly for about three seconds at me. And uh, I wasn't sure if he was going to pull the trigger, so I popped off a shot and hit him in the leg. Uh, we're gonna be code four ten eight off this. Sorry for not answering seventy-three. No, definitely not. Um, and I don't know whether if it's a property or not. I would assume that uh, shooting off into the distance of non-property areas is definitely not safe. I can confirm that that's definitely illegal. Yeah. So. Like I mean, if he was doing it up against this wall behind me or something like that. Yeah, I see a. Yeah, I mean, if it's going off up on the hills. Yeah, and this is the guy I told to come out here. I mean, he said he wasn't from the area or just got a new gun. I can't remember what it was. Wanted to shoot. I told him to come up to Mount Chiliad. Um, I'm not sh you know, I don't know why you would ask me if you own this place in the first place. So, someone's not checking out, so we could cross-reference that as well, too, just to make sure. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, shooting around here is dangerous enough anyway. I mean, like, you can see there's barrels and stuff like that. You don't want to punch or something. It could be fun. The whole thing's pretty stupid, to be honest. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was animals, barrels, it was, I think, just anything. The gun was just being randomly shot. Um, other than that, I think we can go ahead, grab his name from him, um, and then we can at least start a transport on him to the hospital, and then we can work out the charges. Yeah, he should. Um, I got him bandaged up. Is it a uh, county? Just grab his name for the control. I believe so, yeah. Okay. Hey, sir, if you can hear me in there, what's your name? It's gonna be, um... Control. Go ahead. It's gonna be Vito Stalletta. Vito Stalletta? Yes, sir. Uh, I want to punch that mic in the face. All right. Do you get that, deputy? Yeah. Confirming Yeah. Stiletto or Stiletto? It's um Scaletta. Uh, yeah. Scaletta, okay. Yeah. All right, uh, we're gonna get you transported to the hospital. Um, other than that, you'll be filed with your charges after you get out of the hospital. Then. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It's you want to do the paperwork on him since you are gonna transport or? Yeah, I can do the Okay, I'm gonna look around and see if yeah, yeah. anything <laughs> might have been injured from the shooting. Copy, just radio in, I'll let you know. Still haven't got my gun. Well, where the fuck is it? Where the f would you have it on you? Yes, it's in my um, holster. Oh, good. Step out. Jesus. I, I would assume that I shot you and you would have dropped it on the ground, but... Ah, I can't fucking oh, no, I stand that it, shit! Know. My god! That is the worst fucking microphone ever! I have about three mic cases in the blazer pocket. I don't even think it's a mic, I think it's a fucking headset. There's like about three... Three to four blanks in there, and then... I think the rest are hollow points. Okay, I got everything. Go ahead and step back in the vehicle. Watch your head. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'll, I'll bag this and bring it down to the station. 
Yeah, I'll just hand it to Tanner. It's, okay. Uh, I'll be. I'll come back up here. I'll drop him off, and then I'll, I'll come back up there and get it sorted. All right, that works. I appreciate it. Thank Make sure you. you look after... <laughs> Make sure you look after my Roosevelt. Okay. Let me go ahead and put down this on the hood. Hey, I'm gonna set down this weapon on your hood. It's his mag's weapons that were on his body, persons. Yeah, uh, car comes back to a uh, Jimmy Williams, something like that. Uh, his name is... Yeah, Fuck, I can't remember his name. I didn't write it down, but your buddy over there who's going to come back to this scene is going to come back and uh, fill out a rest report. He told me to hand you the gun so that way you guys could take care of that. And other than that, I think we're pretty much squared away. I was just going to take a peek around, see if there's anything that was possibly injured from the shooting. Oh, yeah. I'll take the mag and then I'll, uh, I'll uh, take it from there. Okay. Absolutely. You might also ask if he'll let us uh, search the car as well. Uh, I think we're beyond that. I mean, we don't know if this property belongs to him. It's not even coming back to the same person that we talked to. He was firing a weapon. I think for for the circumstances that we have in court, it would hold up if we searched it. Um, just because of the, the situation that we're dealing with right now. Like I said, I stopped this guy at Sandy, and he did not correlate to me when I mentioned Mount Chiliad that he owned a lumber yard. I mean, he doesn't have to, but I would assume that would be something, and he wouldn't play so dumb about it if he was trying to figure out a place to shoot. Why ask someone where you're going to go shoot if you have a place like this to shoot in the first place? So I, I just I find something fishy about his story, so we need to figure out who this guy is, maybe if it's a stolen vehicle, uh, and if there's more to the story that he's not telling us. Oh, no, yeah, I can see now, uh, okay, so yeah, just already, take pictures uh, of where everything lays that way in case there's a discrepancy we have back up. Alright, yeah, I appreciate it, Tanner. Thank you. No problem, man. You have a good night. You too. Okay, so I'm gonna just take a peek around and there's someone getting shot and killed or something. Like, I don't know. There's some priority or something. I've been in game for about an hour and 30. So, uh, definitely a pretty awesome patrol. A uh, guy was just randomly shooting off weapons inside of a lumberyard, but I highly doubt he had the ability to be doing that in the first place, considering the fact that he probably does not own this lumberyard. We're going to do a backtrace to make sure. But like I said, as I was coming down uh, this thing right here, I was proned out. I was ready. I had him aimed. And then as soon as... Uh, he, he raised it, it was about three seconds after I popped one shot off and it happened to hit him in the leg, which is pretty fucking awesome. I'm glad it did, I'm glad it wasn't a fatal shot, uh, because again, he didn't pop off a gun, a shot, a shot at me, but you were, you were actively shooting your weapon. We walk up to try to get a hold of you and you pointed at us. That is a, I mean, shit, you know, it doesn't, it takes an idiot to know, or it doesn't take an idiot to know that that's, that's a situation where if a cop is carrying a gun and they deal with this shit all the time, that you better be prepared to take a bullet if you're going to be playing with guns like it's a toy. So, oh lord. Oh lord. Uh, but yeah, that is going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Thank you so much for coming out and watching this episode of DOJRP. And we will see you next episode.